So Chaffee, last day of pre-season tour, just tell us a little bit about here at the ICC, the facilities we've had and, and how you've made the most of it over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, we've been coming here for quite a few years now, so we, we know about it before we come. Um, it's a great setup, you know, the nets, are, the nets are good, they can give you, they can tailor the net surfaces to whatever you're after. Um, they've got enough surfaces that we can rotate on the, and they don't, you know, they don't get too damaged. Um, so it's really good quality practice and then the ability to, to train on one side and, and play a match at the same time is superb. And of course since we last came there's been Covid and this place has been used a lot so it's a great effort from the guys here with the amount of pitches that they've been preparing on a regular basis. Yeah and everyone's been so helpful in, in what we've been doing, you know, nothing's been too much trouble regarding the nets and um, the ovals are certainly in fantastic condition so everything's gone really well. In the last couple of days we've had some match action what have what have the lads been looking to get out of it and do you feel they've achieved what we wanted yeah it's slightly different to normal we normally come away and and end up returning quite close to the season we've still got three and a half weeks to go so it's been a bit more about what the lads need individually get them out on grass after a long winter indoors um, and we've definitely achieved that it's very difficult with a squad this size to get quite as much as you want but when we get back to england we've got more games and for the time we've had had here I think we've we've got as much as we could. To just shed a bit of light on when we get back obviously we start a week later than everyone else in the championship so we've got two or three pre-season friendlies with the lads be really looking to step it up in them games as well. Yeah we've organised quite a lot of cricket obviously because you can never be sure on the weather at, at the end of March so um, we go to Canterbury then at Derby first then Canterbury then we've got a university game against Loughborough and then we've got a second 11 fixture uh, Leeds Bradford as well so we can we can use all those games to try and get the right amount of cricket into into all the players. And then particularly this week, we spent quite a lot of time in the field, and the lads have got plenty of ball overs in the legs as well. Have you been impressed with how the bowlers have first? <laughs> yeah, well, it's difficult for them because it's so hot. Prior to the last couple of days, it was it was even hotter than normal, so that will stand them in good stead. We've no significant injuries, um, which is one of the main things you look for out of a pre-season trip. But time time on the feet on grass instead of indoors just gets them used to the rigours of, of professional cricket. So, yeah, I'm, I mean, if it all goes well for the rest of this afternoon, we'll be delighted. We take a fully fit squad back and fully prepared to get stuck into the pre-season at home. A word on Richard Gleeson as well. We saw him make his return yesterday. He picked up a wicket. He's obviously signed a T20 contract with the club. How pleased are you to see him back and how important of an option will he be later on this summer? Well, Gleeson is a quality player who's been really unlucky with injury over the last year and a half. Um, and to see him back firing, you know, virtually back to his best is, is great. You know, he was struggling all the way up until back end of last year to get over a stress fracture. And the progress he's made since then is significant. So, you know, very optimistic about his, his future, certainly in the white ball game. And then, you know, he'll be looking to see how, how durable he can become. Phil Salt as well, he joined us over the winter. He had, he had a good knock here the other day, an unbeaten century. How well has he integrated into the group over this last couple of weeks? Oh, great. You know, he, he, he makes friends easily. He's competitive. He's exactly the right kind of player and person that we want in, in the staff. You know, he's got connections to the North already. He's a, he's a City fan and um, he, was, he was excited to get involved with the lads because since we signed him, you know, he's been all over the world playing um, T20 cricket as well. So. Uh, it's nice for him to, to show the lads what he can do and he's, he's, he's had a great trip. And of course, just jumping ahead to the county championship, we're obviously back to the divisional structure now. Is, is that an option that you prefer and what's the main differences from the Mod Willis, which we've had the last couple of years? Well, right now I prefer it because we don't have to, uh, after such a good start last year, then you end up on similar points in, as it was last year and then it was another challenge. Um, I think the, the old-fashioned nature of a league means the best team over that course has the best chance of winning it. Um, there looks to be some good sides in, in there, so it'll be, it'll be a really co competitive division. Um, but, you know, we've got a strong squad and we've got to be ambitious. To come as close as we did at the back end of last season, what's been, like, the charm amongst the lads and, and how can we try and get over the line this year and go that one step further in the championship? Well, I think we start from scratch again. We know we've got quality in the group. Um, we, we believe we're a developing squad, um, definitely ambitious amongst the players, but let's get back to the start of the season and, and you know, there's no place for complacency. We've got to get everything right, be competitive, enjoy our cricket, but you know, we need to start talking now really about the things we do well and the, the real uh, 
the important stuff that makes us function as a team and that's what the next few weeks will be about.